Welcome to the delicious tale of a wonderful of an adventure in a wonderful land. Miss Willy Wonka is the most makes the most amazing chocolate ever invented. Why Miss Willy Wonka herself is the most amazing, most fantastic, most extraordinary chocolate maker the world has ever seen. She's invented things, I say. I'm not going to tell you what she's invented. You came to see for yourself. Because Miss Willy Wonka makes such great chocolate, three other great chocolate makers known as Mr. Fudgewinkle, Mr. Prodnose, and Mr. Slugworth have sent spies to go and steal her secrets. She closed her factory and sent all of her workers home. About three months later, the factory suddenly began, began operating again, but no one knew who was running the place. No one came in and no one came out. Pretty soon, there was an article in the town paper saying that there was a contest. That's right, a contest. Breaking news, really long ago, Walker talked about factory just enough. Oh, wonderful, from this contest. She had, she had secretly wrapped a golden ticket under five ordinary candy bars and five ordinary candy wrappers. These had to take it to find anywhere, in any street, in any town, in any country, upon counters where Willy Wonka's chocolate had to be sold. The lucky golden ticket finders will tour Mr. Willy Wonka's new chocolate factory and go home with a lifetime supply of chocolate. Let's see if the winner of that is here now. Love chocolate. Let's go and take my ticket to eat and eat and eat. Is that chocolate cake? You gotta give me some of that chocolate cake, please. It's my favorite. Is that ice cream? You gotta give me some of that ice cream. What flavor is it? That's my favorite flavor. Stop bothering those poor people. We've already eaten your lunch today. That is a gushes group, everyone. As you can tell, he loves to eat. He's a very good table manners and never buy things. And of course, we have other lucky gold ticket finders. The second lucky gold ticket finder is Violet Bulbagard. I'm a gun for an only, but I want to hear about these ticket things and Ms. Wonka's. I just had to have one. So I lay off gum and switch to candy bars and hope it's dark and lucky. Now, of course, I'm back on gum. I just adore gum. I can't do without it. I'm up to all day long except for a few minutes of meal time so I take it out and stick it behind my ears and stay keeping. Tell you the truth, I wouldn't feel comfortable if I didn't have a little wedge of gum to join every minute of the day. I really wouldn't. My mother says it's not ladylike for It's ugly to see a girl's jaw going up and down like mine do all the time, but I don't agree. And who's she to criticize anyway? Because if you ask me if it, her jaws are going up and down just as much as mine are just from yelling at me every minute of the day. And now, I may interest you to know, this piece of gum I'm sharing right this very minute is one I've been working on for about three months solid. That's a record that is beaten by my best friend, Miss That Daniels. is Violet Boulevard, everyone. She is very good dancer, and she's very polite, and she's very, very ladylike. Third, let's go to take your finder with Ruth and Salt. So, once I told my mother something we had to have on this golden ticket thing, she went out to town and started buying up all the Wonka bars she could lay her hands on. There was hundreds of them. She must have bought hundreds of thousands of them. <coughs> and she had them loaded onto trucks and sent directly to her own factory. She's in a peanut business, you see. She has about a hundred women working for her over at her factory. Shelling peanuts for roasting and salting. But three days went by and we had no luck. Oh, it was terrible. Look at it. Every time she'd come home, I'd scream and yell at her, where's my golden ticket? I want my golden ticket! And I'd lie on the floor for hours, kicking and screaming in the most- That is Veruca Salt, everyone. She is very nice, she is very polite, nicest girl you ever will meet. Our last ticket was found by a boy named Mike Kiki. I wonder if Mike's got a ticket with it. Mike? What? Oh yeah, of course I have my golden ticket. See, it's right here next to my phone, which I'm surprised not about playing right now. See, I'm on my other phone texting, but if I'm not texting, I'll be playing games. See, it's right here on my ear. It's my pink by right. Right now, I'm listening to Sober by Pink. Now, leave me alone unless it's necessary. Ooh, this is a good song. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> that is my TV, everyone. He's very busy and, and very important. 
it's probably a bad idea to disturb him, but we needed him. Sorry if I'm bothering you, Mike. Get back to whatever you're doing. I'm sure it was very important. And now I will introduce you to the hero of our story and her family. You see, they're quite poor, unfortunately. They live in a small house. This is Aunt Bucket. And this is Mrs. Bucket. This is Grandpa Joe Bucket. And Grandma jo Josephine. And Grandma Georgina. And Great Aunt Georgia. They're all over 90 years of, of old, of course. And all very, very old. And of course, Charlie Bucket. Well, I think far too much. Let's see what's happening. Well, I see the butchers in the front book tickets. I wonder who the front funky person will be. I hope there's no one like the repulsive blue boy or as spoiled as that brute assault girl. Or as beastly as a ball around a little girl. Or living such a useless summer as that TV boy. It makes you wonder if all kids behave like this nowadays, like these brats we've been hearing about. Of course not. Some do, of course. In fact, quite a lot of them do. Not all. And now there's only one ticket left. Quite so. And just as soon as I'll be eating cabbage soup or sub tomorrow, that'll take you to some nice little beast that doesn't deserve it. I know somebody like to win that golden ticket. How about it, Charlie? You like chocolate more than anyone I ever saw. Yes, I sure look good for Joe. You know, it makes me faint when I have to pass Mrs. Wolfe's chocolate factory every day to go to school. It smells of wonderful chocolate. It's so dreamy. Doesn't fall asleep as well as Mrs. Wolfe's bed. Why does Usher buy his dreams so much too? Just imagine me, Manny, I can find the fifth baby. Why? It, it's pure imagination. Well, it may be pure imagination, but I've heard tell what you imagine sometimes comes true. Gee, you really think so, Grandpa Joe? Gee, I wonder. Now, nah, Charlie, it's time for chores.
persecuted not all of Emily Walker. What's happened to her? Well, she's been an important woman in this town for a good long time. A lot of people said some unkind things about her when she closed down the factory. We were always felt she had her reasons. Actually, I'm quite excited about this golden ticket. It's a good excuse to see what's going on in the factory and how she's running it. Speaking of the golden ticket, can I read it one more time? I know it sounds like but the whole thing seems so magical. Yes, Charlie. Here it is. Greetings, lucky finders. Gold ticket from Mrs. Wilde. You have won a night of tour of the Walton Candy Factory and a lifetime supply of delicious people. Be at the factory on February 1st at 10 a.m. Be sure to read this ticket. Sign this in front of Today is the 1st of February. Let's get with you, Charlie.
zero. Where's more food? I'm hungry. Just look at the doors, type so it'll be 10, 11 of them. Come on, I'm four. Oh, Jesus, we won't have time the river. It's all brown and muddy looking. Nothing, nothing is wrong with it, my girl. It's all chocolate. It's all hot melted chocolate to the very finest quality. What the very finest quality? Why all this chocolate will fill all the bathtubs in the entire country. And all the swimming pools. And just look at my pipes. They suck up all the chocolate and carry it away to every room in the factory. Thousands of gallons per hour, my dear children. Thousands and thousands of gallons away.
giant squirrels. I love giant squirrels. I love Gryffindor. Jeepers, there must be a hundred of them around that pile of walnuts over there. These nuts are especially trained for getting the nuts out of the Oh, these squirrels. But they're especially trained for getting the nuts out of the walnuts. Why do squirrels? Why not use the walnuts? Nobody can get the nut out of the walnut without breaking it. And I insist on using a whole walnut in my factory. So I have squirrels to do the job. See how they first tap it to see if it's a bad one? If it's a bad one, it makes a hollow sound. And I simply don't bother opening it, and I throw it down a garbage chute. Hmm. Hey, Mommy. I've decided I want a giant squirrel. Get me a giant squirrel. I want one right away. Please go on, because bonkers sweetheart. Don't be silly. But I want him. A giant squirrel. All I have at home is two dogs and four cats and six bunny rabbits and three canaries, a green parrot, a turtle, <clears throat> a blue goldfish, cage of white mice, and a silly old hamster. I want a giant squirrel. Okay, okay, I know, darling. I'll get you a squirrel. But I don't want any old squirrel. I want a trained giant squirrel. Fine, Wonka, name your card. How for those crazy squirrels? They're not for sale. You can't have one. Who said I can't? I can't. I'm going to go get me a squirrel this very minute. No, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I wouldn't do that. Come back. Ruka. Oh, oh, stop it. They're yeah. testing the shoes with a bad nut. Watch. Don't touch me. There's definitely no way she's going to be. Okay. Help her. Save her. Stop. Stop. Okay. okay. I'm holding her. Well, let's see. I'll have you. Why are they saying
small doses. They just want to sit there, stare at the screen all day long. That's me. Shut up. Thank you. <laughs> now then, um, when I was first on the television, I was struck by a tremendous idea. A picture could be set with a computer in a million pieces and then put back together again on the screen. And I thought, why can I send a real bar of chocolate whizzing through the air and then put back together again? Now, I want to show you something. Bring out the chocolate bar. Yes, I think do. I mean, 
How are you feeling about this? How do you feel? Hungry! 